Okay, so one of the things these faggots have been doing now is every time I look out my window, there'll be a car honk from quite a distance. But you know, it, it's more letting you know you're under surveillance and they can see you at all times to try and intimidate you. They've probably got some motherfucker down there in a car with binoculars or something. I don't know. Well, well, it's probably more to it than that. Remote, no monitoring or something, but every time I look out the window, there'll be a little mint like that. You know, and they've been revving the whole time I've been back. Because it's Sunday, and you know what time it is. It's the day they get shitted on, so they're not happy. So, you know, they're gonna make noise. It's sirens. Well, there was no targeting on the way back from my family's house, which was interesting. At least I didn't see any. They won't do it now because it's on the uh, phone. Yeah, I've, and twice that's happened today. I've looked out this window, met actually three or four times. So this is the nonsense that people do hear the revving. It's just constant noise. It's just constant. For hours. You know, I look out the window. Me no, I'll shut the window. I'll look out the window again. Me I'll go outside. Me you know, this is all the shit these people do to let you know you're under surveillance. Deliberately. So, uh, you know, they do that in real time. They do it in real time to when you do things. Um, yeah. So that's the, the shit they do. Again, when I visited my family today, police sirens when I was there. I didn't have my phone in time to get it. I was sat outside. You can give me. <coughs> Pollen's high today with the uh, rain we've had. But, yeah. No aircraft this time, but lots of. Uh, Subtle things, but aggressive things. Subtle but aggressive. Subtle to the um, to the untrained eye or ear. But uh, I thought I heard another horn then. But um, aggressive to me, you know, because it's timed when I do certain things. I also. Just shut this in. Also, notice they've been using the remote no monitoring more. So, I'll have a certain thought. Mip. I'll think about someone. Mip. I'll think. Uh, I thought about someone. Mip. This was happening at my family's house, too. I'd be hearing car honking. Also, as soon as I got to my family's house yesterday, there was a house alarm going off again for a short time. But they, they did it this time, so I was unable to capture it because it was too short. This is all the type of shit these people do. Can't even have so much as a look out your window without these faggots trying to disturb you, trying to agitate you. You know, and this is why a lot of people get violent because they get sick of it. It's like it's like they're constantly trying to poke you psychologically. It's like you're constantly being poked. And these people think I guess they think they can do this indefinitely and nothing's going to happen, but, you know, it happens where, you know, some people lose it and do things. Also, um, I find it interesting that 
you know, I was talking with RT about this last week, about how there hadn't been a terrorist attack for a while. Sorry, this week, a few days ago. Yesterday, on the solstice, of course it's on the solstice, right? There was a stabbing, because, you know, these occult Freemasonic groups, they like to do these things timed with the uh, seasons and shit. So, the day of the seance, there was a basically a knife attack that killed three people in Reading, down south. Um, also, there was a big shooting in Manchester. Well, fairly big. Two people got shot dead at a party. So, I find it interesting that all this shit happens on the solstice. Um, I believe this is on a spiritual tip, so don't take this with a grain of salt, but I've noticed I've been having a lot of bad luck today and yesterday. So I'll be surprised if these motherfuckers have tried to put some kind of jinx on me or something. Because these, these people, they do these kind of rituals on the solstice and these kind of times. You know, they're very... You'll notice in the autumn, there'll be a lot of negative stuff seems to happen to you around Halloween as well. Because they do these kind of rituals. This is just my beliefs, you know. Don't take it 100% literally. I mean, this is just my opinion. You know, some people believe that a man walked on water, was nailed to a cross, was in a cave and came back. So this is pretty tame to that. No offence to any Christians, but... You know, I believe in God, but on the whole tip, I'm, I'm not 100% on it. But... Um, well, I'm very doubtful. But, you know, I'm, I believe in certain... Spirit, I especially believe in the fact that your thoughts can affect the world around you, which is basically what, you know, magic is. It's just a form of science, supernatural science that we don't yet understand, you know. And uh, I believe these people, they do these kind of rituals, do these kind of curses on people, especially... TIs, because there's a lot of Freemasonic rituals and stuff that these people do. So, you know, they probably try and curse TIs and put jink hexes on TIs and stuff like that. That's just my personal opinion why I might be having bad luck. Could be wrong, but, you know, that's just my feelings on the matter. But either way, I've been having very bad luck around the time of the solstice. Um, but yeah, man, the, the tangible side of the targeting is, you know, it's just been very in, aggressive in my face. You know, the other day, Carl drove past, stopped honking at me, and then just drives on, swearing at me, like sticking the middle finger up at me and shit, and honking the horn. So, you know, I did stuck my middle finger up at back, and they just drove off, and, uh, no, this is the bullshit. They've done it. They did that to me in Sheffield, I remember, a few years ago. There was a car drove past with three or four people in, and they just started honking the horn and swearing.